If you need any Xbox or PlayStation codes or anything gaming related, check the referral links down in the description. They'll take you to G2A.com. They already have a discount on most of their goods already. And with the code CHES at checkout, you can get yourself an extra 3% off as well. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number 7 of the Golden Oldies Squad Challenge with Channy Sports and MGH. This is a quick season roundup video. On my channel we'll be having this quick season roundup. On Channy's channel he'll be doing the same and on MGH's channel, as was the case with the Youth Squad Challenge, the previous series that we did, uh, we're all in a Skype call revealing who's won what when it comes to uh, A, the competition as a whole, who finished the highest etc. And obviously there are wild cards available for a potential new Se uh, next series as well so uh, have a look at my squad report or season roundup let me know what you think in the comments of how we got on this season do the same for Chani over in his comment section and then head over to MGH's channel and uh, have a listen to the Skype call of all three of us revealing who's won what but obviously as you can see we've managed to finish second in the league table unfortunately thanks to some rather dubious uh, goalkeeping and uh, defending from the AI players that I wasn't controlling in the final two games against Chelsea and Manchester City most notably the two sides that finished around us in the league unfortunately we weren't able to win the league title we did have a decent goal difference so we scored a, a plenty of goals and conceded less goals than anybody else in the league so oh so disappointed not to win the title to be completely honest one thing that I did want to check out see because this is the same uh, database that we use for the youth squad challenge because obviously we needed to transfer players from league to league. I was curious to see how Wolves got on, because obviously that was the club that we used previously, and they will have all of the players that I personally used in that youth squad talent series. And as you can see, they finished second in the league. So the CPU did exactly the same as me. Finished second in the league. We finished second in the youth squad challenge. We finished second in this one as well. I appear to not be that good when it comes to uh, these, this sort of series, but never mind. We're, uh, we're pushing through, and our top goal scorer personally was actually joint between Danny and Huntelaar, both on 11 goals there, as you can see. Rooney scoring 23 and winning the Golden Boot by an absolute mile. We actually had quite a few players that scored a number of goals. You see Danny and Huntelaar both on 11, Iniesta and David Villa both on 9, and uh, we did have a number of uh, players that chipped in uh, uh, in various positions as well. Assist-wise, uh, Huntelaar up there with eight as well. So he had a very good season. Gabby got six, our central midfield. David Villa got five, even though he wasn't played as much as Klaus and Huntelaar at top. And Iniesta and Danny both got four apiece. So... We didn't necessarily have one prolific player. We had, you know, a squad as a whole that played very well together and they all chipped in and helped each other out. So I'm very pleased with uh, actually how this squad played. We'll give you a quick squad report. You can see uh, Claudio Bravo, my main number one goalkeeper, went up one rating uh, at the age of 32. Obviously, goalkeepers do tend to go up, though, towards the ends of their career. 12 clean sheets in 28 games. He went up plus one on everything apart from reflexes and positioning where he went up plus two. Danny Alves went up plus one as well we had some players that went up that I wouldn't expect to go up and other players that went down that I wouldn't have expected to go down in rating either Danny Elvis had a decent season actually 25 games played obviously was injured for three months with a broken ankle so uh, would have played a lot more games perhaps would have grown a little bit more Pepe though grew very nicely up two stand tackle and sliding tackle both up plus four and uh, 13 clean seats for him, 29 games played, solid, solid centre-back, very pleased with him. Barzali, though, unfortunately dropped overall, even though he got 11 clean sheets and an average rating of 6.8 over 24 games, he did drop in rating. It was just his physical stats, unfortunately, that uh, let him down, because technically he did grow quite nicely, which is a shame, but that's what happens when you pick someone that's 34 years, years of age, I suppose. Ashley Cole similarly went up technically, but dropped physically at the age of 34. He clipped nine clean seats in 21 games, one assist, and 7.1 average rating. It's very, very good indeed. Daniele De Rossi went up one, though. Very pleased with him this season. Three goals and one assist perhaps could have expected a little bit more from him goal and assist wise but uh, he was very solid kept 12 clean sheets in his 29 games Gabby got six goals and six assists he's an extremely good player I do very much like Gabby up one to 83 as you can see up five in stand tackle and sliding tackle and up four in short passing so it's weird if he'd have been a CDM perhaps he may have even grown by even more because of obviously the stand tackle and sliding tackle being taken into account but as a centre mid extremely good player very <laughs> I recommend him actually he may be 30 31 years old now but do recommend that you pick him up Stefan Lichtsteiner is a player I expected to grow especially considering he got seven goals and two assists in 27 games and an average rating of seven overall but he dropped one rating and his physical stats took a real hammering and I'm not too sure why 
Uh, I really like playing with Stef Stefan Lichsteiner, and I was particularly disappointed that he didn't grow, but to drop really took me by surprise. But never mind, you have to, you know, take it as it comes. Danny, though, went up by two. His physicals did drop, but that's mainly because he's injured right now and out for eight weeks or seven weeks remaining with a broken collarbone. He got 11 goals and four assists and 11 clean seats, even though it doesn't really matter for clean seats for a left winger, but still seven in uh, seven appearances. So really pleased with him. Uh, technicals went up really nicely as well, actually. Heading accuracy up four, which didn't really pay uh, too much dividends, unfortunately, but up to 84, really pleased with Danny. Iniesta, my wild card, went up one as well. Now valued at £42.5 million for a 31-year-old. He scored nine goals and got four assists in uh, 35 games as well. Played almost every single game for me, Andres Iniesta. Uh, Klaus and Huntelaar, my joint top scorer with Danny, although most effective player with 11 goals and eight assists. 7.4 average rating. He went up by two overall as well. Really pleased with Klaus and Huntelaar. I have to be honest, I didn't overly enjoy playing with him, to be completely honest. I much prefer David Villa, but Klaus and Huntelaar was by far my most effective player. 7.4 average rating is very good. 11 goals and eight assists. Pleased with that, to be fair. Gokken Inler, I despised. I really didn't like playing with him. But at only age 30, to drop by one rating, again, is very surprising. You would have expected him to grow a little bit. It's, it surprised me, the fact that it's actually my younger players that seem to be dropping. And a couple of the elder players are actually growing in rating, which is really strange. Really strange. But I didn't really enjoy playing with Gokken Inler, to be completely honest. One player I did enjoy playing with, though, was Igor Denisov. He was very, very solid for me. Three goals and one assist for him. I really enjoy playing with him. Would highly recommend that you pick him up. He and Gabby would be very, very good as a centre mid pairing. Uh, unfortunately, Diego Castro dropped by one despite getting three goals and one assist in his 19 appearances. Uh, he's still a decent player, though. Did enjoy playing with him. David Villa, even though he's a year older than Diego Castro, went up by one rating to 81. He got nine goals and five assists in 20 games. If he'd played more games for me, then uh, perhaps he could have been my top goal scorer. He only played 20, and Klaus and Huntelaar played 27, and he was very close on both goals and assists, David Villa. Really enjoyed playing with him. He's one of my favourite players of all time, David Villa. So I was delighted to be able to have him in this series. Artur Boca, unfortunately, dropped. I was hoping he was going to be a very good player for me. He can play at CDM as well. And uh, he's supposedly a good all-round player, but his physical stats dropped to me. He was injured for a while, though. So unfortunately, that may have had a uh, bearing on his physical stats dropping. But his mentals dropped quite considerably as well. So I was disappointed with that. Ronaldinho dropped as well, only by one. But uh, he got three goals and no assists in the 16 games that he played. Unfortunately, that low stamina really killed Ronaldinho off. Uh, I wasn't able to play him anywhere near as often as I would have liked to. So uh, it's a shame. But unfortunately, Ronnie, um, despite being ex extremely good technically, just wasn't able to cut it for us. Neither was John Terry, sadly. Ten games played for him. Uh, I had to include JT. I just couldn't. But unfortunately, I couldn't not. But unfortunately, I uh, didn't play many games for me. He was injured for two months as well with a broken ankle. And uh, uh, just it just wasn't good enough, unfortunately, on career mode. In real life, still obviously one of the best centre-backs, despite not having the best start to the season, I must point out. But still one of the best centre-backs in the league. But on FIFA, he just doesn't cut it anymore, which is very, very sad to uh, to see. But Beto played well. Three assists in ten games. Didn't play that often, though, because Claudio Bravo was just that good. Jose Antonio Reyes... I, I really enjoy him. He's actually joining Toulouse when his contract expires here. We were actually losing him, but it's not going to matter anyway. But he dropped by one rating, sadly, but never mind. Uh, 31 years of age. Would have expected perhaps him to uh, maintain his rating, but oh well. And uh, same with Andoni Iraola. I would have expected him to maintain his rating as well. Five clean sheets in 18 games, but his stats started to drop as well, sadly. Jax, though, he improved. He was very solid. Only six clean sheets, but he was a very good defender for me. Enjoyed using him as well, actually. Good Good uh, strength, good, very good tackling stats. Up four on the most important ones with stand tackle and sliding tackle. Up three on marking as well. Uh, short passing up three as well, which is good. He's good on the ball. And uh, that runs out the squad report. I thought there was more. But no, we only have 22 players in the squad, don't we, for this or these particular series. So that's going to bring the uh, season roundup to a close, guys. Not as long a video as are all of the others. But feel free to check Chani's uh, channel for his season uh, roundup. The, the, his and Chan, uh, MGH's links will be in the description down below and then have a, head over to MGH's channel to, uh, to it's quite funny actually the, squ the, uh, the Skype course so definitely head over there and have a look at that but for me for now that's all for this series thank you very much for watching guys thank you for all of the support throughout the series and those of you that have come across from Chani and MGH's channels I very much appreciate it still plenty of FIFA 15 career mode content coming up on this channel over the next two to three weeks and then we will go ham with 
uh, FIFA 16 right from the off. But for now, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.